it is a part 9 of banking project in this video let us understand how to modify and delete account details in order to modify or delete we need to retrieve the data first so that we will understand and we will see how we can do this so three main things one is to delete the records or to modify the record so delete we can use the delete statement that is the SQL statement so modify you can use the update statement so here we will show you all this in the account details how to modify the account details for example address or name mobile number email id all we can able to modify this so in order to modify we need to retrieve the data so for a particular account number we need to fetch the data and then that data we need to modify so here we can see that how to find the particular record that is also very important so here we can write the query select query with the where condition and we can find the data so send the data to the text boxes therefore you can fetch the data from the table and then we can write the select statement to fetch the data and we can send back to the text boxes so please visit iblix.com slash download to download this project so if you're not yet subscribed to our channel please subscribe and if you like the video please click the like button or you would like to communicate with us please write it in the comment box fine so now we are in visual studio whatever till now it is done it is there here you can see that uh, all the forms are available now we'll go to the account form so here is the account form so here what we want to do is we want to add two more buttons to modify and delete so therefore let me copy this uh, paste again you paste then you get a one more button so this I can take a little right, right side right so now you can call it as a modify so this is to modify record then here it is to delete now how to modify the record so now to modify the record you need to enter the account number so earlier I think we disabled it enabled is equal to okay true therefore you can enter and then you can put one more button here control C control V and we can call it as a find okay so here you can write as a find so when you click find if I enter the account number if I say find if the data is there you should display the data over here right let's see that how to write this code so find double click so you'll get a find underscore click and we already written this one account type okay okay we'll go to other uh, okay select statement is here okay we can use this select statement so copy this then you can come back here and then paste so here you can write select star from account tab then where condition is important so where account number is equal to now the account number is in the text box one so therefore ambassad text box one dot text okay so then you can also write the condition if text box one text so that is equal to empty then exit sub so you don't need to execute this if it's a totally empty simply user click means some error will occur so we don't want that right now text box one we don't want okay let me there as it is so now here you can say text box one account number any anyway, is already entered then is account type name so account type name has to go to the combo box so therefore it is a combo box one dot text and that is equal to so this is dr one of one dr one of one is the uh, first column so therefore this is the zeroth column and this is the first column so that is indicate that and text box 2 you have to give 2 here so better to you convert this into string format 2 string so here also you have to say 2 string now we can copy this now this is 3 and here also it is 3 that is account name 4 5 6 so now this is text 4 
this is 5 this is 6 so cross verify once this is 6 so no sorry this is 5 4 3 2 uh, 2 3 4 5 okay, 6 not required so now this is 4 this is 5 1 2 3 4 5 so 5 all the values will be sent back check whether it's working or not so account details let's say 1001 find so you can see that we can able to retrieve and then bring back all the data here now if there is a change in the mobile number or customer request for the change in the mobile number if i click modify it should be get modified so what is the code yet write for modify and also in the beginning probably we can disable these two buttons so you can say enabled is equal to false this is also false only when you click find so these two should be enabled okay so we can write here also so you should know the button number so this is button 4 button 5 so this is button 4 dot enabled is equal to true same so button 5 dot enabled is equal to true then again when you have to make false so when you click 3 or 4 you need to make them false once the work is get over you have to write false here because again they should be disabled so this again you have to copy you have to put for delete also so just go to delete and here also you can paste it fine now let's see that how to modify the record so you want to modify the record so in order to modify the record so we can use whatever insert statement is there here same insert statement to modify the record right so instead of insert you have to say update so now this is update account table so text box one at the end you need to take so i'll just copy somewhere here right so here you say account tab set is the keyword and next is the column name so this is account type name is equal to so kumba box one comma then account name is equal to text box two dot text next account address add that is equal to text box three next mobile number that is equal to text box four and next five email that is equal to text box five dot text so now you need to write where condition where account number that is equal to text box one dot text okay so now so you have to put one more codes here okay so that you can execute the query then you can say record updated successfully So save this so how to write uh, update statement update account tab set account type is equal to corresponding text box value and then next column name corresponding text box next column name corresponding text box like that okay now let's run this account details so let's say 1001 find now let's make this as a 000 So now when you click modify you can see that record updated successfully now these two buttons are disabled now again you can go to 102 find you can see other record now if you give 101 what are the changes that should be implemented you can see 000 and now 2000 so even you can check in database also it will be changed so account show table data so now here you can refresh this you can 00 ravi 2000 so the changes are implemented done now next one is delete how to write the delete so okay this is the delete 
So, I can copy this again, then paste here. Now, you have to say delete from, from account tab. So, then you have to give where condition. So, therefore, you can delete all these things. Where account number is equal to text box one dot text. Then you will execute this. So, these statements are almost same because only the uh, SQL statement changes, but the method executing this is almost same. Then you can say record deleted successfully. So, now we can run it again. So, we go to account details. So, here is a 1002 find. Now, if you click delete, record deleted successfully click new again find so there is nothing actually so if there is no record it should tell me there is no, no that record is not present okay so here what happen you are enabling this so instead of that you write else part message box dot show uh, this account number not found and this should be come only in the true part therefore you need to paste here so here this should be disabled still it should be disabled now if I give 1002 find so that account number not found so these are not enabled so if you give one so then enabled and all the details will come over here this is how you can modify and then delete the records so hope you understand the concept so now you can try this to every form <coughs> you can write the same code but except the table name column name has to change accordingly now you can see that uh, number of lines code is keep on increasing earlier we have only few lines of code but now we have more lines so like that as you keep on writing that becomes complicated you want to more and more features naturally you need to write the more code so hope you understand the concept Please try this and if you have anything to say, please write it in the comment box. Also when you have free time, uh, click on videos and then go here and browse the videos. We have a lot of project videos and also a lot of things you can learn from here. So just watch the video when you are free and then keep learning. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.